Last night, Senator Elizabeth Warren's campaign got a major boost after a stand-up performance at uh, NBC's uh, news debate in Vegas, where she came for one candidate in particular right out of the gate. Take a look. I'd like to talk about who we're running against. A billionaire who calls women fat broads and horse-faced lesbians. And no, I'm not talking about Donald Trump. I'm talking about Mayor Bloomberg. Mr. Mayor, are you willing to release all of those women from those non-disclosure agreements so we can hear their side of the story? We have a very few non-disclosure agreements. How, how many Let is that? Let me finish. How many is that? None of them accuse me of doing anything other than maybe they didn't like the joke I told. And let me just put, and let me put, there's a be agreements between two parties that wanted to keep it quiet, and that's up to them. Joining us now, uh, live via satellite from Vegas, is Senator Elizabeth Warren. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So folks are saying last night was your night, and from the clip we played, you pulled no punches. How are you feeling about your performance? You know, I feel good about it. I had a job to do, and I came and I did it. Yes, mm -hmm. you did. Uh, this is Joy speaking, uh, Senator. Uh, now, you, you needed a, uh, a good night after very disappointing finishes in Iowa and New Hampshire. Uh, you were very impressive last night, very forceful. But my question is, oh, here. Well, my question is, was it misdirected a little by going after fellow Democrats and not going after Trump? Or were you trying to go after Bloomberg sort of like a, 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 by proxy to get to Trump? What were you doing there? Look, the Democrats have to pick the person who has the best possible chance of beating Donald Trump. So this is about beating Donald Trump. It's who's going to be able to do that. And yesterday, Mayor Bloomberg announced that everyone should drop out of the race except himself and Bernie Sanders, and they should decide who the nominee will be. Mm -hmm. Well, I take exception to that. I've been told to sit down and be quiet enough in my life. I'm ready to stay in this fight. But well, why not go so after Trump more? I thought, it, because what we have to do is get our nominee. We get the wrong nominee. We lose to Donald Trump. And that's why I started the way I did. Mayor Bloomberg has spent $400 million in order to buy his way onto the stage. Does that make him the strongest nominee? Well, let's just start with the fact that he's a billionaire who has a history of harassing women. The two examples I pick, calling them fat broads and horse-faced lesbians. You know, the American people are not going to take kindly to that. So it's not good enough to learn about it after he's our nominee. It's important for us to raise it now and see why it is that Michael Bloomberg is a risky candidate for the Democrats. He is not the one who gives us the best chance of beating Donald Trump. We need someone with rock solid values who has a history of getting change done and who knows how to fight. That's why I'm in this race. Okay. Hello, uh, Senator. This is Megan. Um, first of all, congratulations last night. I hey, really Megan. enjoyed watching you. I really enjoyed you watching rip out Mayor Bloomberg's jugular because That's I so too. Nice. I really did. I too. <laughs> I take great offense at the idea that you've been running for president. All the other candidates yeah. have been running for president for a long time, and you should just drop out because he has billions of dollars. Um, the time that Trump came up last yes. night was when you compared him to saying that Democrats aren't going to win the nomination if they have a history of harassing women. I think this is an incredibly strong point. He has a history of both misogynistic and racially charged comments over a long period of time. Yes. And I believe the media has given him a huge pass on this. And I think it's very confusing for Democrats. Why do you think the media seems to want to give Bloomberg a pass until you rightfully so called him out last night? You know, I think you're asking the question, Megan, why do they always seem to give the billionaires extra consideration? Uh, because I think that's what's happened here. But you know what I'll bet he's doing right now? I'll bet he's reaching in his pocket and spending $100 million <laughs> more on advertising to try to erase everyone's memory of what happened last night. And that's what this race is about in democracy. This is why I've asked everyone who listens to it and thinks that Mayor Bloomberg should not have the only voice in this election 
Go to ElizabethWarren.com, pitch in five bucks, pitch in some volunteer time, because we want to get the word out about this man on race and about what he does to women. The Democrats should not appoint someone who has a history of embracing racially uh, outrageous practices like stop and frisk and redlining. And we should not have a nominee who has, we don't know how many times he's been charged with discrimination against women or with sexual harassment. And it's just shoveled some of his money in to cover it up. You know, his, I hope you heard that part last night where he said, oh, all that I was ever accused of is telling a few bad jokes. Really? So then why did you spend money answer, to get women? Morning. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. It just, that answer just doesn't cut it. And he could have stood there last night and said, you're right. I'll let all of the women who have non-disclosure agreements with me right now, I waive. So you can say whatever you want about your side of the story. But no, he uses that non-disclosure agreement to take his billionaire position and he describes, oh, she was just this or she was just that. No, we can't do that. We cannot let him get away with that. Too many men have gotten away with that for far too long and it stops now.